Oh, what's going on, everybody? We are coming to you live. Well, not live. This is a video. <laughs> but anyway, we're in the back of the truck at the trucker's table. Uh, we're sitting back here, chilling out, uh, making some videos. I made two videos in like 30 minutes. Still got to go back and do the editing. It's uh, big news. Uh, not big news. Um, we'll just call it. Oh, remember we talked about it before. Uh, I got some new equipment for the truck, right? So the new equipment, you won't see it until I do the video, is right here. What? Yeah, right there. You can't see it, though. It's right here underneath the phone. It's holding up the phone. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we'll do that video. It'll probably be coming out in the next couple of days. And uh, we did some other things. We got um, another toy today. We bought this toy. I bought uh, about a week ago. Uh, the new toy I bought, I bought today. And we did uh, like an unboxing on both, and uh, we let it, we uh, revealed what they are. So, hang around, you'll get to see what the new toys for the truck are, and uh, how they're going to be used. So that'll be cool. So, what happened today? <laughs> what didn't happen today, man? I'm gonna be honest with you. What didn't happen today? Ah. <sighs> We did good. We were in Columbus and uh, we got unloaded. We were sitting there waiting when they came in. We got unloaded a little bit early. We jumped on a back road, we got all twisted up in South Georgia down there between Columbus and Macon. No cell service on the AT&T phone. On the Verizon phone, we had a signal the whole way. It wasn't a great signal, but it was a signal. So, uh, anyway, we get over to uh, Macon, and uh, we make it there to the receiver for our second drop, and I hear air leaking. I'm like, where the hell is that air coming from? I couldn't figure it out, so I kept walking around the truck trying to figure out where it's coming from. And they just put that new air valve in. That was $1,237. I'm thinking, if he screwed that valve up and that thing's leaking, but I felt I didn't see no air coming out of the valve, so I don't know. There's air leaking. I got to get it fixed. I can't be riding down the road with air leaking, but my pressure wasn't dropping below 100, so it was staying below 100, but it kept going up, then down, up, then down, up, then down, so I knew it was leaking. You know, it needed to be fixed before it burns up my dadgum compressor. So... We get to Florence, South Carolina, and we get fuel, and we whip into the Petro uh, there at exit 169, and I talked to him. I said, hey, can y'all, you know, look at this and try to tell me where the air leak's coming from. I just had some work done on it and everything, da-da-da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull around Bay 2. I said, okay, I'm going to go drop the trailer. It'll be easier for you that way. So I went and dropped the trailer, pulled it up there. And uh, he said, go ahead and pull over to Bay 3 where we can drive over the top of the rack. Uh, he can walk underneath and look for what's going on with the leak. Because you could tell it was coming out from underneath the middle of the bottom of the truck. And it never dawned on me what it actually was. And I should have known it because I've had to replace one of those before. What was it? Air dryer. Yep, the old air dryer. Two things should have gave it away. One, it was only leaking when the truck was running, which means the air compressor was not making air when the truck is switched off, thus no air was going through the air dryer. Uh, two, last time I drained my tanks about a week or two ago, a lot of water, dead giveaway. I should have known that much water in there I should have went ahead right then and got it fixed anyway I didn't I didn't think about it I guess didn't put two and two together then I got to thinking about it all that water in that tank I wonder if that affected my valve that went bad it 
could have. I don't know that it did, but I don't know that it didn't. So it might have ended up costing me twelve hundred bucks. On top of how much you think that air dryer costs? Six hundred dollars just for the air dryer part uh labor them going getting it and everything it ended up costing me around 910 915 bucks getting out of the petro so 1237 910 we're almost at 2150 for a two-day total this load that i'm on right now that i picked up in um Fort Smith, Arkansas, three dropper. It pays right at 3,100. So the money, pretty much a wash. This load paid for all my mechanical for this uh, for this time around. So I didn't really make any money off of this load. Uh, but the load going to Fort Smith paid pretty good too so uh, I'll end up getting a check next week regardless because I pay for this with a credit card and um, I'll pay the credit card off next week when I get my paycheck that way I don't have to pay any interest on the credit card remember that if you don't have the money right then in your bank account go ahead if you have to pay with the credit card then turn right around as soon as you get that money in your account within the next week or two pay that off completely there's no interest so that's what I'll do I'll pay that off and it won't be no interest but uh, anyway so that's where we're at but we don't have any air leaking hopefully I'm gonna check the next couple days I'm gonna make a note a set an alarm on my phone to drain my tanks so we'll see if uh, we'll see if we have any water leaks not water leaks, water build up in the tank. That's what I was trying to think of. So, uh, we just have to wait and see. I didn't hear nothing. Okay. So, I never did switch the daggum truck off. It's the truck still idling. What the hell am I thinking? I should have done switched it off and had the APU running. I didn't hear nothing. That was nothing. There's nothing going on. I don't hear water running. Everything is cool. There's no issues. The truck seems to be doing pretty good. Just any eyes. That was not ice. <laughs> All right. So we made it to our third drop here in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. And uh, the duck man's already gone outside and done his business. I wish you could see that boy. He He's laying on the floor. He's in a coma. He was out here running around. I was chasing him around, making him run and dart and stuff. He is tuckered out. He's not even flinching when I call his name. <laughs> He's tired. He's sleeping. He's sleeping good. I got some big, thick new carpet in here, so he's loving that. But anyway, so we made it here. Our appointment's at 7.30 in the morning. We'll get unloaded, hopefully, first thing, as soon as I can. And then we'll book it over to Charlotte. Come in. I want to say we're going to come in on the south side down by Matthews. And we'll unload. Uh, unload. Uh, it's a live load there in Charlotte. And then we'll book it on to the house for the weekend, Friday, Saturday at the house. Wow, wow, wow. And um, 
maybe wash the truck when we get home. I should have did that today at the Dagum Petro. I should have washed the truck while I had it unhooked from the trailer. I didn't even think about it. But we get home, I'll wash it. I got my own pressure washer, all that stuff. I can wash it at the house. And I got the long wand so I can get the top and everything. So that's probably what we'll do. And uh, oh, enjoy some home time. I mean, last week was great. We was home last week. And uh, so we'll spend a couple of days. And we'll be, this will be our last time home until probably around July 11th. We'll get back home hopefully on the 11th. Uh, I got loads going all the way through July the 8th. It's going to take me up into central uh, Pennsylvania. So we're looking for a load out of Pennsylvania that'll get me uh, somewhere. I don't know. I don't care. If it's a one day, two day load, whatever. Uh, something picks up on Monday, delivers on Wednesday. And I can pick something up Wednesday to deliver on Thursday close to the house and deadhead home. Or if it's a three-day run that takes me down into Florida, if it pays real good, you know, I'll do that too. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to set parameters on what I have to have, where I have to go, what I have to do. As long as I get home by Thursday night, I'm good. Because Teresa's taking off Friday, July 12th, and we're going to go to uh, South, down around Dade City, see her grandmother and them again to take care of some family business stuff. So... Anyway, I hope you liked the video. <laughs> I hope you liked me. I, I'm sorry I didn't make any video today. I should have. Blame it on Pale Rider. Blame it on Daniel. And blame it on Blackbeard. Even Provost. I had to talk to you fellas on Zelo to keep y'all company. Didn't have time to make no video. I should have, though. <laughs> But I didn't. I just got lazy today. So, and the thing, the crap with the air dryer just. So that's why I'm doing this little video here to let you know what happened and, um, and everything. Uh, there's my woman. I'm in bed, honey. You want to talk? <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna call her tonight. I'm gonna give my wife a call, and uh, then I'm gonna hit the sack myself. So I hope y'all have a great night. The weekend's almost here. Be safe. Hit that thumbs up button if you don't mind. I would appreciate it. I can use a thumbs up. It makes me feel good when I see all those thumbs up. It makes me say, hey man, people like my video. That's cool. If you're not a subscribe, hey, subscribe. You'll like it, man. I'm telling you, I got we're some big there's there's some good announcements coming up in the next two to three days. You're not gonna wanna miss. It is super cool, dude. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and uh so anyway, hope you have a great day. Don't forget if you're an owner operator, don't no cheap freight you gotta hold out for the big bucks alright y'all be safe peace out